mercy, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. Let's go to the book of John. John chapter 3. Verse 34. And in Matthew chapter 3, verse 16. I want to remind you that as a child of God, we always, always find ourselves in the presence of God. When you become a believer, you remain in the presence of God. You can go home physically, but spiritually you are in the presence of God. What does it mean? It simply means anywhere where you go, the presence of God is there. And I want to bring this to your attention. This is why you see evil spirit will say, okay, this one will leave this place, will follow her, or will follow him to his place. Meaning, when you leave the church, you are out of the presence of God. That is not Christianity. If the situation is like this, you miss heaven. You do what? As long as you are a born again Christian, you are a child of God. You are always in the presence of God, 24 7. Whether you are working, you are sleeping, you are in the presence of God. You are bathing anywhere where you be found yourself. You are in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Let me call you in this book of John 3, verse 34. We look at our Savior. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, remain in the presence of God. Where Satan cannot enter. Witches and wizards cannot enter. Where you cannot gossip. Remain in the presence of God. Verse 34. Are you there? For the one whom God has sent speaks the words of God. For God gives the spirit without a remit. The father loves the son and he has placed everything in his hands. Verse 36, whoever believes in the Son has entered, I mean, has eternal life. But whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's love remains on them. Praise the Lord. Let's go to, we combine the two, Matthew 3, verse 16. This is 16. Yes. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. 17. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. We combine these two. As soon as Jesus was baptized, Jesus came out of the water. And then heaven did what? Opened. The Spirit of God was descending from heaven. Going where? 
The Spirit of God was going where? Meaning, whatever you are doing here on earth as a child of God, the presence of God must follow you. Whether you are at work, whether you are going for baptism, the Spirit of God must confirm that yes, I have confirmed that this baptism is from, from above. There you never go back to your old life. Because from that moment, it is no longer you who is living by the Holy Spirit in you. People of God, are you listening to me? I'll give you this practical example. I've been hearing people talking about what you need is the word of God. What you need is the, there's nothing wrong to hear the word of God. But something is wrong if the presence of God is not there to give life to the word. There's nothing wrong to hear the word of God or preach the word of God, but something is wrong if the presence of God is not there to give life to the word. All of us, we hear, I mean, we listen to the word of God, but see the way we live. Are we living according to what we hear from preachers? The answer is no. Why? We hear the word of God out of his presence. Simply means the word has no life. It is the presence of God. Jesus came out of the water. People can argue with me to say, Jesus was the son of God. Yes, he was the son of God. What about you? Are you not a child of God? The same promise that he made on Jesus, he has made on you. What we are lacking is to attract his presence. Come on. Come here, the two of you. Come. I want to give you this bracket, for example. Mm -hmm. Stand here. Mm -hmm. You stand there. Uh, uh, two boys who are not married. Uh, come here. Uh -huh. uh, come. Another one. You two, you are not married. Come here. Okay, come, Charles. Uh -huh. You stand there. Uh -huh. Who will be the father now? Uh -huh. Who will be the father? Come. You with a jacket. Come here. You will be the father. I know that you cannot father these people. They are big. Mm -hmm. But they stand here as the father. I want you to know what I'm talking about. These two girls, they are here. And then this one is the son to this man. Okay? This one is my son. Now, you tell your son. And then this is my son. I say, okay, turn to this side. I say, my son, look at these two girls. I kona ukui kata pomumu anakash. Mpaka fienga kwa bionu mbati nchita ya kupa chita shani ya Afrika. Na ufa dadi. Elo, uyumu anawandiu, tulenda na nkweri yonse. Tule chita shani? Tulenda na nkweri yonse. Mushefio na muweba, kuti afio na uramenso ya ndi. Pantu opondi. Ngati ya chita na tingo konelo lecha chaoz. Ala funya kweri nso. Oh, sorry, daddy. Because in gender, nankwe, nsangwa nankwe, nge kontolo la weti nabi kamuri ena, nge ipela life ye. Now, this one is, a den is, is dangerous to these two people. Because the father is no longer there. He is alone. And his trouser is now disturbing him. Tell me, if he will stick to the word the father spoke to him. He will not. Are you going to stick to the word? Wala i kadi la. Wala i tashan. This one is very tight with me. You see, akwenda. I will follow him anywhere where he goes out because he is, he is in my presence. He cannot commit anything contrary to what I you know I told him. He will obey my instruction because I'm always there. 
to check on him, to control him, to make sure that whenever he's looking at a woman, he says, Oh, sorry, Dad. Let's go. Huh? Huh? Stop looking at this. Because of my presence, this one will remain loyal, faithful, and humble. The father is somewhere there. I don't know if the father is drinking or doing what. And the son is here looking at these two beautiful uh, girls. Eh? Is he going to remain faithful to his father? The answer is no. That is my message. There is no way you can say you cannot commit any sin or gossip about your friend. Even your best friend, you gossip about them. Because you are out of the presence of God. If you remain in the presence of God, the Spirit of God will be always upon your life to lead you, to control you. Heaven opened. And the voice came out to say, this is my son. This is my what? Okay, thank you, thank you. This is why when you pray or when you are praying, you are outside his presence. Who will hear your prayer? No one. There is nothing that you cannot do as a human being as long as you are out of his presence. But we talked about Shababi. I can give a lot of examples. You put money here to say, Ishinda Lama na Shapa. Nuwafe wa Ishibapo. We catch Tashani. We catch Katapo. Ala Sumina. Ala Tashani. Muayana Kurusaka. For one week. Mukasange Shakumanina. Pufi. Ala Katapo. Abula. But Mwari Mwat, we catch Tashani. Now it's one of us what about that. As long as Tamuri Po. But in the Muriku bedroom, Uma knowing Gangra, open my weekend, the Ramama, Murang, and Boku, and from my church mind, the Idibu. Because you are there, immediately in the mouth at Ulefwa and she. Ah, sorry, that. Ah, Alabuela. That is the way God Almighty wants you to live. Whether you are in the house, you are somewhere else, you are attending a wedding where people are misbehaving. If you know you try to take what they call punch, your father will say, <laughs> what, what do you want to do? Oh, sorry, dad. Others will be taking punch and drink. You, your father is there present. You as a father, can you allow your daughter in your presence? You see a man approaching your daughter, start now touching the breast of your daughter in your presence. No, that is madness. You just say, eh, eh, ndo bubububu babu atampa. Yo omu anu wali mutu ntulu. No omu anafi omu ni kutalanda fetipa joni kabie ni kwa batadabu hapo. Na mfeni mani friend wako boyfriend wawe mbatu. Mwimpala me, na mwamu naba dadi. Abu badi hapo hapo. So festival here. Ngavaya, you can do anything. Aba anabe suwa banga taturi na abo. If you bachita, uti mwaika la panchi mwaika ta kumutu. Mwemeche mwana wanjuyo. But it didn't Can your son walk like that in your presence? Or as one take and in your presence? The answer is no. Why are you pretending to be the child of God and yet you are out of his presence through your activities? That is my message for you. Remain in the presence of God. When you pray, simply means you are calling your father. You are doing what? Calling your father. The Bible says, as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending on him. What can make a difference between you and an unbeliever is not because you say you are a child of God. It is the presence of the Holy Spirit upon your life. Going to heaven, you cannot go to heaven walking. Or your dead body is in the mortuary, taking the body to the graveyard. Are you telling me that the body will, will rise from there to go to heaven? No. It is the same spirit in you that will carry the inner man inside you to go to heaven. If 
you say you are a child of God. We always remain in the presence of God. And we hear from our Father. And we see the power of our Father restricting our movements to say, don't go there. Don't do that. Remain in the presence of God, people of God. This world where we are is not a permanent place. People have passed through this world. They are no more. Men and women were there. They are no more. Where are they today? If you remain in the presence of God, you become successful in this life, both spiritually and physically. When Jesus got baptized, the Spirit of God descended on him. Meaning the presence of God, even is coming here on earth. Ale moneka muntu, lelo ali muche ni chakwa nani? Chakwa lesa. He came to show you that this is the way you are supposed to lead. Remain in the presence of God. In the presence of God, you cannot commit any sin. So that you inherit the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's go back to John. This is John 3. The, the same John that I quoted. For the one whom God has sent, speak the words of God. For God gives the spirit without limit. You speak the word, and the word of God will accompany it. I mean, the spirit of God will accompany what? The word of God. If you preach the word of God without the Holy Spirit, people are able to say, yes! Ah, it doesn't mean that we know. You say, oh, pastor, tell us. Ah, tell us, pastor. Oh, tell us, pastor. If you follow this woman's or this man's life, it's full of anger. Inside the church, oh, Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Tell us. Out of his presence, you become a lion or a lioness. When the word is preached to you, the spirit of God must come on the word to give life to the word so that you become a life living from above, not with the flesh. Simply means the spirit of God is part of your life. Uole satuma alande chebo chakwa nani? Elole samu pelo mupa shukwa vro kumu pimina. Kwa vro kustashani. Uku pima. For the father loves the son and he has placed everything in his hands. He is the only example for you believers. I will shed more light by the grace of God this coming Sunday, but I, I, I want you to know that prayer is not your voice. It is your heart. If your heart is in the presence of God, whatever you say here, heaven is listening to you. Because you are in the presence of God. You can kill me physically. It doesn't mean that you kill my life inside me. No. The owner is in charge to come and collect what? That life. If you believe in him, you inherit the kingdom of God. Are we in the presence of God? Hmm? Hmm? Mula furwa kuka nenshi. Mche ni chakwa ale seti wakano gwari. Umuwa na fiyo yui no muwa no muwa no muwa no yui. Ale yangala muwa muita muwa muwa. Fiyo wabutu kefi. Ukubale na yogwari. Fiyapu, fiyapu. Kama nika sambe. Haya mkusamba. Muwa musambika. Muwa mweshe. Kalapa. Haya mbukuri ya. In the presence of your parents. You eat that in shima by force. Umukulu. Kuti muwa muwa mati kala pole di yogwari. Kari tula mbukuri ngana. Ah, every shift number. Umuwa 
Bwana ngalina ba uishala itashani laisha sia Nimembushinga tu avembuka out of his presence When Sunday comes we look like angels Eko mwava yawe eko mwava yawe eko mwava lesa eko mwava Your conscience is telling that remember last night Remain in the presence of God. You never go back to that life. I gave you that example. Jesus said to ever no sex before marriage. You can uh, prove me wrong. Our daughter and sons are here. Take them somewhere and start asking them one by one. Have you ever slept with a, a boy? Huh. You'll be shocked that all of them inside the church, not even one. I am forcing it up here. Aku forcing it up sangire kuisa which means aku sangire panche nde e forcinga. Chenga aku sanga pali bawi so kuti aku forcinga. Awe bawi so bobadi aku tute panchi. Bawi so landa tuna boku ipa yo mwana wandi. No I am forcing it up. But you go why there? Not a dare forcing it. Hmm? Ba mbinga ba mwana mafat no na le mona ti bala mona kwati nshiri mwa ume. You see? You can ask them they are here. Who is a virgin? Jesus want to come back again through a virgin. Hmm? No one. Why? We live out of his presence. Where there is no fear for him. If you are in the presence of God, you hear his voice. You feel his presence collecting you. Stop that. Don't go there. Uno vya kuitachi kulipati naba naba chita arrange aba rumendo nga ba mikolo sho bwalwa ba ina mkumbo mfia. If you are in the presence of God. The spirit of God will minister to you. Don't go there. Or you fall sick seriously. Taunwele, but palai secha alambo kutachani. Kukalipa, so that you will not go there. Immediately they finish their nonsense there, you become what? Okay. Po inachiruala, ilo na mfo unati iwa walufi anya. Na ilishi anya Josephat. Look at you. I am in the presence of my father. That is the message to you people of God. Don't deceive yourself by going to church every Sunday. No. Feel the presence of God. Acknowledge the presence of God. There you are safe. You are what? Mm -hmm. Talking to yourself because you quote the scripture. The word without the Holy Spirit is meaningless. It's lifeless. It is the spirit of God that gives what? Life. No, nena alikuwa ta KGV. So what? Tamube mbuka na KGV. Nena alikuwa ta ma Bibles KGV. Eh NIV. Good news. So tamube mbuka hivyo mwa kwa tayo. No ine ne leader. Tamube mbuka popo mwambira bu leader. Ni mwamuru ikanya na bantu. Ngamuleika na mu presence ya kwa lesa. You became the unifier. You bring everyone very close to Jesus. Remain in the presence of God. Umote timuwe mbuke. Muche nchakwa le sata kwa wako kitashani. Kwa wako mbuka. Mwana na wata wawe mbuka po mnoke. Can I see your hand? Look at the church. Not even one. Kwa chini mukrabu. Inside the house of God. Meaning... We all need his presence. We all need what? Yes. So that we remain faithful, loyal, and humble. Just take note of the example that I gave you. Where the son instructed this one, I mean the father to say, don't touch these girls, okay, until when it is time for you to get married. Immediately the father left the boy. Oh, God bless you. 